Hey guys, this is X666X Iron Maiden, and today we're going to be checking out Trivium's Betrayer, Alex Bent, Drum Playthrough. Alright guys, as much as I want to keep going with some new tracks off the new album, which I've decided I will do all on the channel before getting the album, uh, you guys like seeing me react to it, so I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, I've been wanting to get to this one, which is the other drum playthrough uh, from Alex Bent. So we're going to get that out of the way tonight. We've already seen uh, 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 Beyond Oblivion playthrough, so I'm expecting this one to be just as good as the other one. The man's an amazing drummer, and without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. This song's definitely grown on me more since I first listened to it. Yeah, such a great technique. It's it's just in everything he does on the kit. Makes it look so easy. But anybody who has drummed knows that as much as it looks easy, we all know that a lot of work goes into that. His face stays very emotionless the whole way through the song, I noticed. So far, anyway. And the fills are just amazing throughout, so far throughout every song in front of the album. Just is such great fills. And again, the accents too, just great, just great accents. Makes me miss my drunk kid a lot. to see what brand he had. It looks like it says it's Crush, but I, I've never heard of uh, Crush before, so I'm curious. Yeah, it is Crush. I've never heard of Crush before. I don't think I've ever even seen one. So impressive. I wish I would have got myself up to be able to do that, but I didn't even get anywhere near it.
the chorus of the song has really grown on me and it's been super catchy as well. Like I, what, the first playthrough of it, I didn't, I didn't like it as much as I like it now, but it, it's definitely grown on me. That's the whole thing with the room reactions. You only get to see the first re reaction I have of a song. Or at least with this one, you get to come back. And it's definitely a way better song than I gave it credit for in the beginning. You got like little splash symbols there, it's the tiny ones, they, they sound so good when used properly. Still emotionless throughout the whole song. No emotion. I don't think there's anything else from there, no. There you have it, that was Alex Bent again with Betrayer from Trevium. Uh, again, it's, he's just, he's such a talented drummer, and it's, uh, he's really starting, obviously, now you're in Trivium, he's in a giant, one of the, a bigger uh, metal band than he was in, like, Bowcross is well known, but they're not Trivium level. Testament, on the other hand, the little bit of time that he spent with Testament, that's definitely a big band, and I'm glad that he's moving up, because uh, it deserves it, you know, the guy's talented, and I uh, can't wait to see the rest of the album and hear what else he has on it uh, to give on the album because it's uh, so far just a, a great album. I haven't heard, the four songs I've heard have all been great so far and uh, next up we'll be doing, uh, I think, is it called Raven Christ or Raven, it's Raven something there, uh, it'll be the next one. I, I, uh, I have a hard time remembering the, the name at the moment, it's been a, a day or two since I had last seen it, but yeah. It's uh, it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to, and again, that was great. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, don't forget to give a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not already one of my subscribers, and you want to see more from me, uh, and don't forget to have a good night or a good day, and I'll see you guys later on.